Welcome to the Geography of Turkey 2, Human and Economic Geography of Turkey course. In this lesson, we will explore the key features of the mining and energy resources in Turkey. Feel free to share your questions and opinions through the eCampus website or email. Turkey possesses a rich array of mineral and energy resources, contributing significantly to its economy. Here's an overview of mining and energy resources in Turkey. Hash Mining 1. Mineral Diversity Turkey is endowed with diverse mineral resources, including coal, lignite, copper, chrome, boron, iron ore, lead, zinc, and gold. The country is considered one of the leading producers of boron minerals globally. 2. Mining Industry The mining industry in Turkey has been a key driver of economic growth and industrial development. Various mining operations, including open pit and underground mining, are conducted across the country. 3. Energy Minerals Turkey has substantial coal reserves, and lignite is the most abundant type. Coal plays a crucial role in the country's energy production. 4. Metallic Minerals Copper, gold, and zinc are among the important metallic minerals mined in Turkey. The country has several active mines extracting these resources. 5. Regulatory Framework the Turkish government has implemented regulations to encourage responsible mining practices, ensuring environmental protection and sustainable development. 6. Challenges The mining industry faces challenges related to environmental concerns, community engagement, and the need for advanced technologies to enhance efficiency. Hash energy resources. 1. Fossil fuels. Coal. Turkey has significant coal reserves, and coal-fired power plants contribute substantially to the country's electricity generation. Natural gas. Turkey is a major consumer of natural gas, and the country imports gas from various sources to meet its energy needs. 2. Renewable energy. Turkey has been investing in renewable energy sources to diversify its energy mix and reduce dependence on fossil fuels. Wind, solar, hydropower, and geothermal energy are key components of Turkey's renewable energy sector. 3. Hydropower Turkey has a considerable hydropower potential, and hydropower plants are a significant contributor to the country's electricity generation. 4. Wind energy Wind energy projects have been developed in various regions, particularly in areas with high wind potential along the Aegean and Mediterranean coasts. 5. Solar energy Solar power capacity has been increasing, with investments in solar farms and projects to harness the abundant sunlight in many parts of the country. 6. Geothermal energy Turkey is among the top countries globally in terms of geothermal energy capacity. Geothermal power plants harness the natural heat from the earth for electricity generation and heating. 7. Energy efficiency Turkey has been focusing on improving energy efficiency, with initiatives to reduce energy consumption and increase energy savings. 8. Nuclear Energy Turkey has plans to develop its nuclear energy sector, with the construction of nuclear power plants in progress. Turkey's mining and energy sectors play crucial roles in the country's economic development and energy security. Ongoing efforts to balance economic growth with environmental sustainability will likely shape the future of these industries. Turkey has a diverse range of energy resources, including fossil fuels, renewable energy, and efforts towards nuclear energy. Here's an overview of the energy resources in Turkey. Hash fossil fuels. 1. Coal. Turkey has significant coal reserves, particularly lignite. Lignite is widely used for electricity generation. Coal-fired power plants play a major role in meeting the country's energy demand. 2. Natural gas. Turkey is a significant consumer of natural gas. It imports natural gas from various sources, including Russia, Azerbaijan, and Iran. Natural gas is used for electricity generation, heating, and industrial purposes. Hash Renewable Energy 1. Hydropower Turkey has a substantial hydropower potential, and hydropower plants contribute significantly to the country's electricity generation. The Turkish government continues to invest in new hydropower projects. 2. Wind energy Wind energy has seen significant growth in Turkey. The country has favorable wind conditions, particularly along the Aegean and Mediterranean coasts. Investments in wind farms have expanded Turkey's wind energy capacity. 3. Solar energy Solar energy is abundant in Turkey, 
and the country has been investing in solar power projects. Solar farms and rooftop solar installations contribute to the diversification of the energy mix. 4. Geothermal energy. Turkey is a global leader in geothermal energy capacity. Geothermal power plants tap into the Earth's natural heat for electricity generation and heating. The country has numerous geothermal fields, particularly in western Anatolia. 5. Biomass Biomass energy, derived from organic materials, is another renewable energy source in Turkey. Biomass is used for electricity generation and heating, often from agricultural and forestry residues. Hash nuclear energy 1. Nuclear power plants Turkey has plans to develop its nuclear energy sector. The Akuyu nuclear power plant, the country's first nuclear power plant, is under construction with the involvement of Russian technology. The Turkish government aims to diversify its energy sources and reduce dependency on fossil fuels through nuclear energy. Hash energy efficiency. 1. Energy efficiency initiatives. Turkey has been working on improving energy efficiency across sectors. Energy efficiency measures aim to reduce energy consumption, promote sustainable practices, and enhance overall energy security. Coal. Coal is a black or dark brown combustible rock made primarily of carbon. It was formed millions of years ago when ferns, plants, and trees died and fell into swamps. The swamp conditions prevented the organisms from decaying completely and after millions of years of intense heat and pressure, coal was formed. Coal is classified into four main types or ranks based on carbon and heat content. Lignite, subbituminous, bituminous, anthracite. The general rule is that the higher the grade of coal, the cleaner it burns and the more versatile its use is. Coal is extracted from the earth through underground mining or surface mining. The choice of mining method is largely determined by the geology of the coal deposit and its distance from the surface. Underground mining currently accounts for a larger share of world coal production than surface mining. Coal can be burned for heating or to produce electricity. To convert thermal coal to electricity, it is first milled to a fine powder, which increases the surface area and allows it to burn more quickly. The hot gases and heat energy produced from combustion converts water into steam to run a turbine and generator. High quality coal is also a useful raw material. For example, it can be converted to coke for steel making. Coal can also be converted to liquid or synthetic gas by advanced chemical processes, making it a possible but costly replacement for natural gas or liquid fuels for transportation. Coal is a highly abundant and cheap energy resource. Coal has powered the industrialization of many nations over history and continues to today. It is a big player in today's energy system, providing 40% of the world's electricity. One major concern with coal is the mining practices used to extract the resource. Ecological impacts and human safety issues, both for workers and neighboring communities, are growing concerns for the industry. Coal is the most CO2-intensive fossil fuel when combusted because it is composed largely of carbon. Coal also contains other elements that cause pollution problems, including sulfur, nitrogen, mercury, and heavy metals. SOx is a leading cause of acid rain, and NOx emissions contribute to smog. In addition, particulates from coal combustion can be harmful to human health. Concerns about climate change from greenhouse gas emissions have put a spotlight on coal plants and have prompted the development of clean coal technologies like carbon capture and storage. That's coal. Coal deposits in Turkey were formed during the Paleozoic era, and one significant location is the Irili coal deposit, situated in the Zonguldak Amazra basin. While the country boasts a total of 1.3 billion tons of coal reserves, 506 million tons of this are currently in operable condition. In 2016, Turkey produced 1,496,223 tons of coal. Due to its high calorific value, coal is predominantly utilized as a fuel in the iron and steel industry. Moreover, the coal from this deposit is used in the Satalag's thermal power plant for electricity generation. Lignite, a Cenozoic mineral characterized by lower calorific content compared to hard coal, is abundant in Turkey. 
Key locations for lignite mining include Elbistan, Karaman Marash, Soma, Manisa, Tunzbalek, Siatomer, Tabzinal, Kotahia, San, Chanakale, Yadigan, Mula, Keltek, Amasya, Nalhan, Sirhan, Ankara, Dadurga, Sorum, and Askale, Erzurum. More than half of the lignite extracted in Turkey is utilized in thermal power plants, with the remaining portion serving as a source for residential and industrial heating. Notable thermal power plants operating with lignite are located in Soma, Manisa, Siatomer, and Tunzbalek, Kotahya, Yadigan, Yenikoy, and Kemerkoy, Mula, Afshin Elbistan, Karman Marash, Sirhan, Ankara, and Orneli, Bursa. These facilities play a crucial role in the country's energy production and contribute to both electricity generation and heating for various sectors. Oil Oil, otherwise known as petroleum or crude, is a thick black liquid composed primarily of hydrogen and carbon. The physical properties of oil, such as its thickness, vary greatly depending on the specific combination of hydrocarbon molecules. Oil also contains trace elements of sulfur, nitrogen, and oxygen. Today's oil deposits were formed millions of years ago when dead marine organisms sunk to the bottom of the ocean bed and were buried under deposits of sedimentary rock. After subjection to intense heat and pressure, these organisms underwent a transformation process by which they were converted to oil over millions of years. This is why you may have heard oil referred to as a fossil fuel. Oil is found in underground geological formations called reservoirs. The rocks found in a reservoir have various physical properties that allow them to hold hydrocarbon reserves. Through exploration activities such as seismic, surveying, rock core sampling and other advanced technologies, geologists locate oil reserves. Oil is extracted from the reservoir most commonly by drilling a well. Once recovered, oil is transported by pipeline, ship, rail or truck to a refinery where it undergoes a complex refining process that creates petroleum products like gasoline, diesel, jet fuel, asphalt, and many more. Currently, the world uses oil primarily to power its transportation system and to create commonly used synthetic products like plastics and petrochemicals. The production and use of oil presents social and environmental challenges. Producing oil causes land disturbance, sometimes in environmentally sensitive areas. Oil-powered transportation systems contribute to global greenhouse gas emission levels. And control of oil resources is a persistent factor in geopolitical tensions globally. That's oil. Oil is a crucial subterranean resource formed in the Cenozoic era fields. Turkey first extracted oil in 1940 from Raman Mountain in Batman. As of 2016, Turkey possesses approximately 49.3 million tons of crude oil reserves. The primary regions for petroleum extraction today include Batman, Adyaman, Siirt, and Diyarbakir. Extracted oil undergoes processing in refineries located in Batman, Krakal, Izmit, and Izmir. In 2016, Turkey's oil consumption amounted to about 27.6 million tons. Of this, 10.3% is sourced domestically, and the remainder is imported. Notably, Turkey heavily relies on oil imports from countries such as Iran, Iraq, Russia, Saudi Arabia, and Kazakhstan. This dependence underscores the significance of international partnerships and trade in meeting the country's oil needs. Natural Gas Natural gas is primarily methane, or CH4, with smaller quantities of other hydrocarbons. It was formed millions of years ago when dead organisms sunk to the bottom of the ocean and were buried under deposits of sedimentary rock. Subject to intense heat and pressure, these organisms underwent a transformation in which they were converted to gas over millions of years. Natural gas is found in underground rocks called reservoirs. The rocks have tiny spaces called pores that allow them to hold water, natural gas, and sometimes oil. The natural gas is trapped underground by impermeable rock called a cap rock and stays there until it is extracted. Natural gas can be categorized as dry or wet. Dry gas is essentially gas that contains mostly methane. Wet gas, on the other hand, contains compounds such as ethane and butane, 
in addition to methane. These natural gas liquids, or NGLs for short, can be separated and sold individually for various uses, such as in refrigerants and to produce products like plastics. Conventional natural gas can be extracted through drilling wells. Unconventional forms of natural gas, like shale gas, tight gas, sour gas, and coal bed methane, have specific extraction techniques. Natural gas can also be found in reservoirs with oil and is sometimes extracted alongside oil. This type of natural gas is called associated gas. In the past, associated gas was commonly flared or burned as a waste product, but in most places today it is captured and used. Once extracted, natural gas is sent through small pipelines called gathering lines to processing plants, which separate the various hydrocarbons and fluids from the pure natural gas to produce what is known as pipeline quality dry natural gas before it can be transported. Processing involves four main steps to remove the various impurities. Oil and condensate removal, water removal, separation of natural gas liquids, sulfur and carbon dioxide removal. Gas is then transported through pipelines called feeders to distribution centers or is stored in underground reservoirs for later use. In some cases, gas is liquefied for shipping in large tankers across oceans. This type of gas is called liquefied natural gas, or LNG. Natural gas is mostly used for domestic or industrial heating and to generate electricity. It can also be compressed and used to fuel vehicles and as a feedstock for fertilizers, hydrogen fuel cells, and other chemical processes. Natural gas development, especially in the United States, has increased as a result of technological advances in horizontal drilling and hydraulic fracturing. When natural gas is burned, there are fewer greenhouse gas emissions and air pollutants when compared to other fossil fuels. In fact, when used to produce electricity, natural gas emits approximately half the carbon emissions of coal. Despite fewer emissions, natural gas is still a source of CO2. In addition, methane is a potent greenhouse gas itself, having nearly 24 times the impact of CO2. During the extraction and transportation process, natural gas can escape into the atmosphere and contribute to climate change. Natural gas leaks are also dangerous to nearby communities because it is a colorless, odorless, highly toxic, and highly explosive gas. That's natural gas. Natural gas is considered a cleaner energy source compared to other fossil fuels because it does not emit particles such as ash and sulfur compounds. Due to its environmental advantages, the use of natural gas is gaining prominence in Turkey, albeit not as widespread as other sources. The main areas for natural gas extraction in Turkey are Hamidabad, Kuklareli, and Samrolu, Mardin. Electricity and natural gas generated from these sources are utilized in thermal power plants across the country, with major facilities located in Hamidabad, Kuklareli, Ambarli, Istanbul, and Ovaksa, Bursa. As of 2016, Turkey's natural gas consumption reached about 46.1 billion cubic meters. However, only 0.8% of this consumption is derived from domestic production, while the majority is met through imports. Turkey's natural gas imports predominantly come from countries like Russia, Iran, Azerbaijan, Algeria, and Nigeria. This reliance on imports highlights the importance of international cooperation and trade to meet the growing demand for natural gas in Turkey. Nuclear Energy Nuclear energy is the energy held in the nucleus of an atom. It can be obtained by two types of reactions, fission and fusion. Nuclear fission produces energy through the splitting of atoms, which releases heat energy that can be harnessed to produce electricity. The fuel most commonly used for nuclear fission is uranium. However, other elements such as plutonium and thorium can also be used. All of today's operating nuclear plants use nuclear fission to generate electricity. The second type of nuclear energy is nuclear fusion, the same process that powers our sun. Fusion is a nuclear reaction in which atomic nuclei collide at a high speed and join to form a new type of atomic nucleus. During this process, matter is not conserved because some of the matter of the fusing nuclei is converted to photons, which produces energy. Fusion power offers the prospect of an almost inexhaustible source of energy. However, creating the conditions for nuclear fusion presents a potentially insurmountable scientific and engineering challenge. A recent experiment has shown that nuclear fusion can be achieved. 
However, it has not yet been successfully demonstrated on a commercial scale. Today, nuclear power plants account for 11% of global electricity generation, with about 80% of that installed capacity being in OECD countries. All of this capacity is nuclear fission. Nuclear energy, through fission, can release 1 million times more energy per atom than fossil fuels. Nuclear plants have large power generating capacity and low operating costs, making it ideal for base load generation. Because of its large scale and centralized nature, it can easily be integrated into electricity grids, requiring few changes to existing infrastructure. However, upfront capital costs are intensive and present financial risks to investors given the long time frames power plants must operate to recover these costs. Nuclear energy does not emit greenhouse gas emissions. For this reason, it is often seen as a substitute for fossil fuel electricity and a solution for mitigating climate change. However, nuclear power holds a wide variety of environmental and health issues. The largest concern is the generation of radioactive wastes such as uranium mill tailings, spent reactor fuel, and other radioactive wastes. Some of these materials can remain radioactive and hazardous to human health and the environment for thousands of years. Several nuclear accidents in recent history have negatively impacted the environment and surrounding communities, making nuclear power a controversial topic for the general public. That's nuclear energy. Nuclear energy is generated through the release of energy resulting from the fission of large atoms like uranium and plutonium or the fusion of small atoms such as hydrogen. In Turkey, efforts have been initiated to establish nuclear power plants, with one in Akuyu, Mersin, already in progress and another plan for Sinop. Turkey boasts around 10,000 tons of uranium reserves, and in addition to that, there are substantial thorium reserves totaling 380,000 tons. Among the most significant thorium deposits in Turkey is located in Shivrahisar, Eskishehir. These reserves provide the foundation for Turkey's nuclear energy ambitions, emphasizing the country's commitment to diversifying its energy sources and reducing dependence on conventional fossil fuels. Hydropower Hydropower, or hydroelectricity, refers to the conversion of energy from flowing water into electricity. It is considered a renewable energy source because the water cycle is constantly renewed by the sun. One of the first uses of hydroenergy was for mechanical milling, such as grinding grains. But today, modern hydro plants produce electricity using turbines and generators. The mechanical energy created by moving water spins rotors on a turbine. This turbine is connected to an electromagnetic generator, which produces electricity when the turbine spins. There are two main types of hydroelectricity production, dams and run of river. Hydro dams utilize the potential energy from dammed water to produce electricity. A dam is a large barrier constructed to raise the level of water and control its flow. The elevation created by the dam creates gravitational force for turning the turbine when water is released. Some dams also contain an additional reservoir at their base where water is stored to be pumped to the higher reservoir for release when electricity is in demand. This is referred to as pumped storage hydro. The second form of hydroelectricity production is run of river hydro. Run of river still uses turbines and generators, but relies on natural water flow rates of rivers, diverting just a portion of the water through turbines. Because run of river hydro is subject to natural water variability, it is more intermittent than dammed hydro. There are various sizes of hydro plants that produce electricity. Large hydro, greater than 30 megawatts, small hydro, 100 kilowatts to 30 megawatts, and micro hydro, less than 100 kilowatts. The Hoover Dam in the United States is a whopping 2,074 megawatts, which is enough to serve 1.3 million people. Of all renewable energy sources, hydropower holds the largest share of worldwide electricity production. Hydropower has several benefits. It is a cost-competitive form of electricity, even though the initial building cost can be high. It is quite reliable compared to other renewable options and pairs well with other sources as it can be used as base load power. In some cases, dammed reservoirs can also help with flood control and be a reliable water supply for communities. There are also some concerns with hydropower, especially when it comes to large dams. 
Damming a river has a major impact on the local environment, changing wildlife habitats, blocking fish passage, and often forcing people in riverside communities to move out of their homes. In addition, dam failures can be catastrophic, claiming the lives of those living downstream. Hydro plants are also not completely free of greenhouse gas emissions. As with most forms of energy, carbon dioxide emissions happen during construction, particularly due to the large quantities of cement used, and plant matter in the flooded areas makes methane, another greenhouse gas, as it decays underwater. That's hydropower. Hydropower, also known as hydroelectric energy, stands out as a renewable and clean energy source. Turkey's geographical features, characterized by high elevations and rugged terrain, contribute to a substantial hydropower potential. However, fluctuations in the average precipitation levels over the years impact hydroelectric energy production. Turkey's hydropower potential is estimated to be around 433 billion kilowatt hour, but only 38% of this potential, equivalent to 216 billion kilowatt hour, is considered economically viable. As of 2016, 24.7% of the country's electricity production was met by the 597 existing hydroelectric power plants. This indicates that there is still untapped potential in Turkey's water resources that can be harnessed for additional hydropower generation. The ongoing utilization of hydropower in Turkey underscores its importance in the country's energy mix, offering a clean and renewable energy solution. Continued development and investment in hydropower infrastructure can further enhance Turkey's energy security and contribute to its sustainable energy goals. Solar PV Solar photovoltaic cells, or as it is commonly referred to, solar PV, is a technology that converts the sun's energy into direct current electricity by using semiconductors. When the sun hits the semiconductor within the PV cell, electrons are freed and form an electric current. There are various semiconductor materials, the most mainstream being crystalline silicon. But other materials are being tested to increase the efficiency of converting sunlight into electricity. Unlike solar thermal technologies, solar PV can only use direct sunlight, which means when the sun doesn't shine, electricity isn't produced. One of solar PV's major advantages is that it transitions electricity generation from big, centralized facilities to smaller, decentralized production sites, like the roof of your house. This turns energy consumers into so-called prosumers, people that produce and consume their own electricity. Another advantage is that solar PV utilizes the most abundant renewable resource on Earth. Estimates show that there is 10,000 times more solar energy coming to the Earth's surface than our global annual fossil fuel demand. Traditionally, concerns about solar PV were about cost, intermittency, and efficiency. But large-scale implementation and rapid cost declines have surfaced more complex issues such as grid compatibility, lack of solar industry expertise, and the use of rare and precious metals that make up the cells. That's solar PV. Solar energy stands out as a sustainable and environmentally friendly alternative to fossil fuels. In contemporary applications, solar energy is utilized across various domains, including heating homes, workplaces, and greenhouses, supplying hot water, and facilitating the drying of agricultural products. Moreover, solar energy can be converted into electrical power, reflecting a notable surge in emphasis on energy production from solar power plants in Turkey in recent years. These solar power plants are particularly prevalent in central and southern regions such as Kayseri, Konya, Boxer, Denizli, Mersin, and others. By the end of 2017, solar power plants contributed to around 1% of Turkey's total electricity production. This growing trend underscores the increasing significance of solar energy in the country's energy mix, aligning with global efforts to transition towards cleaner and more sustainable sources of power. Wind power Wind, although it might not need explaining, is moving air caused by differences in atmospheric pressure. Wind speeds vary based on geography, topography, and season. Because of this, like other renewables, there are some locations better suited for wind energy generation than others. In fact, 
there are optimal wind locations both onshore and offshore. Energy is derived from wind by converting the air's motion into mechanical energy. Traditionally, this energy was used for milling grain and pumping water, but today is most commonly used to create electricity. The mechanism used to convert air motion into electricity is referred to as a turbine. A turbine is a large structure with several spinning blades, usually three. These blades are connected to an electromagnetic generator that generates electricity when the wind causes the blades to spin. Wind is becoming an increasingly important part of the global electricity supply mix. A major advantage of wind is that the production of electricity has no direct CO2 emissions. But wind generation is not without its challenges. As everyone knows, the wind does not blow all the time, causing intermittency issues for power grids. The price tag of wind power has traditionally been higher than conventional electricity generation sources, though the wind cost curve has declined significantly in recent years. NIMBY concerns such as land use, noise, and bird disruption have also been raised in certain areas. That's wind power. Wind energy is recognized as a clean and renewable energy source that does not contribute to environmental pollution. Despite its advantages, the main drawback of wind energy lies in the variable nature of wind patterns. Wind turbines, designed to harness the kinetic energy of moving air, convert it first into mechanical energy and then into electrical energy. As of the end of 2016, the installed capacity of licensed wind power plants in operation in Turkey reached 5,751.3 MW. Wind energy is prominently utilized for electricity generation, particularly in provinces such as Boxer, Izmir, Manisa, Hatay, Osmaniye, Istanbul, and Çanakkale. While wind energy's variability poses a challenge, ongoing technological advancements and strategic placement of wind farms contribute to the integration of this sustainable energy source into Turkey's energy portfolio. The development and utilization of wind energy play a pivotal role in promoting a cleaner and more sustainable energy future. In 2020, Turkey's energy landscape featured a diversified mix of renewable energy sources, with hydraulic energy dominating the sector. Hydraulic energy, derived from water sources, led the way with an installed power capacity of 22,289 MW, representing an impressive 87% share in the country's renewable energy sector. This high percentage underscores the significant role of water-based energy generation in Turkey's pursuit of cleaner and sustainable energy solutions. Wind power emerged as another notable contributor, with an installed capacity of 2,759.6 MW, accounting for 10.8% of the total renewable energy portfolio. Wind energy's presence reflects Turkey's commitment to harnessing the kinetic power of the wind as a clean and renewable resource. Geothermal energy, with an installed capacity of 310.8 MW, claimed a 1.2% share. This energy source, tapping into the Earth's natural heat, showcases Turkey's efforts to diversify its renewable energy mix. Bioenergy, utilizing organic materials for power generation, played a role with an installed capacity of 224 MW, contributing 0.9% to the overall renewable energy capacity. Solar energy, while in a nascent stage with an installed capacity of 8.5 MW, represented 0.1% of the total renewable energy capacity. This indicates the growing potential of solar power in Turkey's energy portfolio. In summary, the combined installed capacity of these renewable energy sources amounted to 25,591.9 MW in 2020, constituting the entirety of Turkey's renewable energy sector. This diversified approach aligns with the country's commitment to cleaner, more sustainable energy practices. Geothermal Geothermal refers to producing energy from the internal heat of the Earth. The internal heat of the Earth is generated from radioactive decay of minerals and continual heat loss from the Earth's original formation. Geothermal wells are drilled into the Earth's crust at approximately a depth of 3 to 10 kilometers. The heat is extracted with a variety of methods, but in most cases is drawn from the Earth using water and steam. Hot water from the Earth may be directly extracted to heat homes and buildings. This is done either by directly circulating the hot water through buildings or by pumping it through a heat exchanger that transfers the heat to the building. 
Geothermal heat can also be used to produce electricity in a geothermal power plant. Electricity is generated when geothermal heat produces steam that turns turbines on a generator. The major regions of geothermal development are in the most volcanically and tectonically active regions of the world. Though geothermal energy is currently a small player in the world's energy mix, one of its key advantages is its reliability and consistent power generation, which means it can provide baseload electricity. Concerns with geothermal include the accidental release of CO2 and hydrogen sulfide emissions stored in the Earth's groundwater that is often used to carry geothermal heat to the Earth's surface. Additionally, drawing heat from the Earth's crust can, if done irresponsibly, lower the ground temperature below the surface. The upfront costs for geothermal energy production are relatively high. It is expensive to carry out the seismic sensing, test well drilling, confirmation testing, and other necessary preliminary investigations to ensure that your new geothermal plant will be capable of meeting desired production. That's geothermal. Geothermal energy is a versatile resource employed in various applications, including electricity generation, residential and greenhouse heating, thermal tourism, and industrial processes. Its utilization is contingent on the temperature of groundwater. The key advantages of geothermal energy include its renewable and uninterrupted nature, cost-effectiveness, minimal environmental impact, simplicity in exploration and operation without requiring advanced technology, and its status as a domestic energy source. Turkey, situated on an active tectonic belt with abundant geothermal resources, has made substantial investments in recent years to harness the potential of this energy. The commitment to utilizing geothermal energy aligns with the nation's goal of diversifying its energy mix, promoting sustainability, and reducing dependency on external energy sources. The multifaceted applications of geothermal energy contribute not only to energy production but also to various sectors, making it a valuable component of Turkey's energy strategy. Biomass stands out as a renewable energy source with significant advantages, including sustainability, widespread availability, and minimal environmental impact. This form of energy is derived by converting plant and animal waste into usable energy through appropriate technologies and methods. Examples of biomass sources encompass wood, agricultural waste, such as straw, corn cobs, and cotton waste, sewage waste, and industrial organic waste, including black liquor in the paper industry and pulp in the sugar industry. The utilization of biomass as an energy source spans several millennia. Historically, direct burning of wood for heat energy has been a common practice for cooking and heating. In modern times, biomass energy is harnessed by converting animal and domestic waste, as well as industrial waste, into solid, liquid, and gaseous fuels. Turkey possesses a substantial biomass potential, estimated at about 8.6 million tons of oil equivalent. The capacity for biogas production from biomass waste is projected to range between 1.5 to 2 million tons of oil equivalent. This underscores the significant role that biomass can play in Turkey's energy landscape, offering a sustainable and environmentally friendly alternative to traditional energy sources.